What's up, guys? This is the Vancouver Hustler Show. I am your host, Umar Khan. I'm your co-host, Joshua Jarrett. And today we have... Randy. And Jason from the Rap Gods. I want to do it. Yeah, here we come. Some kind of... Here we come. I want to do it. Here we come. Rap Gods. Alright guys, you see how we see <laughs> First time. <laughs> the, energy, the energy wasn't there, but we're not going to make you try again, don't worry. No, we'll get it, we'll get it. No, you'll get it, we'll pick up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, how rap guys, rap gods start, guys? Um, you know, I think it just started from us just having random conversations. Okay. And then being like, okay, let's just do something creative. Okay. And then, you know, all of a sudden, uh, we bought the, we rented equipment, yep. and we started. I we mean, started. that's how it is. Where there wasn't really a plan or anything like that. It was just kind of like a shotgun approach to doing yeah. it. We didn't know shit about doing any of the stuff. Yeah, we had to pick it up along the way. Yeah. I think it took us like four weeks just to figure out how to record both mics at the same that's time. Oh, wow. It was something like that, oh, you know. Wow. Yeah. Like obviously not four consecutive weeks. No, no, Meeting yeah. up and you know figuring yeah. it out, doing that type and stuff of like thing. that. And I'm sure you get you guys gone yeah, through exactly. right? all we're, of the we camera are, and everything. We're still right? in early stages, man. Like, yeah. We only have one mic, and then like no. it's it's hectic, but. Uh, but you gotta do make it do it. It's still a good setup, no, no doubt about that. Yeah. So hopefully. What program you guys used to record? Uh, so we use Audio Hijack okay. to okay. record our stuff, yeah. and then to put everything together, we use Audacity. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And like, do you actually like clip out like when uh, when one guy's talking, it's like his mic, and the other guy talking his mic, or how does it work? I think it's consecutive on the same synchronization. Well, I don't know. You'd know better. Than uh, me. so we record like two tracks, two or three tracks, depending on wh what guests we have. And then um, usually we don't clip out a lot, like if you're referring to like pauses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No, we don't clip out those. We just let it like kind of go naturally, okay. right? Right, because yeah. it's more organic, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, like, but like, do you like silence other mics? Let's just say like we all have mics set up right now. As I'm talking, it's only Umar's mic turned on. And then when you're talking, it's only your mic turned on like that or no? No, no. I think um, one of the things that we've been practicing um, in the, from the beginning is just like mic um, skills. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like knowing not to say um, and knowing to what let someone talk and yeah. you know shit like that. You know the ums and ahs and all that bullshit. It's gonna come up in your voice, yeah. you know, yeah. no matter what, right? Yeah. It's but it's just a matter of having to work on it and like being a little bit more. I uh, once read something like mm -hmm. it's gonna take five hours to edit all the ums out, right. but to be conscious of them, you know, and to be yeah, conscious and trying to get yeah. better. I mean, you're setting yourself up for that. For you know, to never do that. Exactly. For success. For success. <laughs> for success. <laughs> for success. <laughs> awesome. Um, you know, I, yeah. Now, I was just to say, uh, so you guys just do this for fun on the side? Yeah, this cool. is this has been a project of our passion. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. We're really enjoying ourselves. You know, we've had yeah. a lot of good conversations. That, cool. You know, you're not necessarily having in your daily life, you know, right. at work or right. doing anything else. So this is that one platform. Yeah. Well, for me, anyway, that to express I have to really, you know, just say what I want to say. Yeah. Say how I'm feeling on things. Exactly. Yeah. You know I think what? for me, too, it's like... It's so refreshing to have a conversation without your phone out too. Yeah, because right. yeah. everybody's on their phones. Oh, right. fuck, man. Right. Taking a break all the time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like to be like just actually connecting sounds yeah. so soft, yeah. right? <laughs> but no, it's a truth, to, to be it's just talking to your guests or yeah. even yeah. we're just talking about shit. Yeah. It's it's awesome, right? Like it's refreshing, right? Yeah. 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 It's, oh, like, it's really cool. You know, you see people that really connect with the topics, like. You know, you'll just be talking about like daily situations that exactly. you're going through, yeah. or you're having, and like you know certain funny things, and you find out that so many people are dealing with the same thing. Like you know, that's how people connect mm -hmm. over right. these kind of broadcasts, right? Definitely. Right. And I think yeah. that's kind of what our show is about. If, if that was your answer, sorry, but, no, 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 but this is like kind of observing um, pop culture and then yeah. reflecting it to the daily life. Because I always yeah. think about like you know, put yourself in a rapper's shoes, like Drake's shoes. And like Angelina doesn't show yeah. up to his, his dinner, <laughs> yeah. his, he gets stood up by a girl. Right. What would he feel like? It'd be similar to what we feel like, you know, yeah. in that moment. As it, well. Like it's yeah. crazy, right? We see that like, these guys as like huge like celebrities and stuff. By the end of the day, they're just human beings. Oh yeah, so, exactly. Right? Sure. Like it's so weird. Like when you get to a certain level, right? Like for example, you guys know like Fall Gary V. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right? It's oh, like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, I live in the <laughs> It's hard to not know about Gary V. But either. it's like he just boom in the last two years and then yeah. he just knows just because he's at that famous level mm -hmm. automatically he's associated with all the rappers singers yeah. like anyone who's famous like they're they know who he is yeah, yeah. So, it's so it's so weird man how it works you know it's crazy to think that like these guys in a lot of cases make more money off like the inspirational shit 
and like having their book deals and having right. just showing up for like talks, talks and stuff, and stuff. Yeah. that their actual businesses may not have even been that big but like they've yeah. grown it so much now right. because of that influence because they decided to go into the exactly you know the exposure business right. like that arvin Lal guy right he was one of the original like uh what can you say Motivational, Mo- motivational guys, you know. Right. His company, he had, he had like a, it was like a supplement company. It was a very saturated thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. But just through the marketing and the YouTube and the Instagram and all that bullshit, he blew up into this That's crazy. thing that was like yeah. he looked like he was a lot bigger than he actually was. Right. That's, that's a that's a smart tactic. That's actually right. what we did when we when we recorded our podcast with um what's his name with Arnie Arnie yeah. McFly, right? Yeah, yeah. We usually record in these rooms at, at SFU, yeah. but uh, all the rooms are taken. Yeah. Um, there's like a like, room where there's no lock on it. Like it's just like a lounge. That room's taken too. S- the library's closed. Our, my house, like, like I have a share house with my roommates, right? Yeah. We can't go record there. We can't record at this guy's house. We're like, fuck, what are we gonna do? Yeah. And then we call, you know, Taste of Punjab, the restaurant right across the street. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just yeah. call them, like, hey, we're like a local media company. We record <laughs> videos. Is it okay if we use your facility? It'll be good yeah. advertisement for you guys, yeah. too. We just talk bigger than we are. Like, oh, yeah, sure, come on yeah. over. <laughs> we come yeah. in, right? And they're like, okay, that's a table. And we're like, you know, like, we're, you know, like, we can't sit on a table. Can we use the back room? Like, yeah, yeah sure. They open the back room for us, clean it up. Wow, like, so, cool. so, sometimes I you gotta. That. You gotta that, act man. like you're bigger than you are. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Open, yeah. 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 Exactly. And you're gonna have to do that, right? You gotta roll with the punches. Yeah. And then you got one day to execute that Arnie McFly. Yeah. 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 Arnie's not coming back. Arnie's, not coming back. Arnie's, not coming back. Arnie's like, you guys can't get this way. That's what it is, yeah. man. It's yeah. so First impressions are everything, so right, exactly. exactly. What's, what's some crazy stories on you guys and like podcast related, or just like even like in life, like the crazy stories? I don't know, man. Recently, like it's been a pretty just like a work focus week, like personally for me, just a work focus week, yeah. Um, crazy, not really. I, I, feel I like think I'm, on the podcast, I mean, uh, if we can just reflect on like networking, yeah, you know, right. it's we were talking about it earlier yeah. off the pod, right? Uh, just like running into people and then bringing them onto the podcast. Yeah. I think in the last yeah. two months have been huge for us in terms of like meeting new people, getting yeah. these people on the pod and like talking to a whole bunch of people. Right. And like, you know, that's been crazy in itself that we can kind of see, yeah. you know, ourselves yeah. kind of networking and, and building a network. Just stepping out of like zone, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's just that uh, there's so many, like there's there's so much of a culture here that we had no idea existed before. Same with us. And we're just through the podcast and yeah. doing all this creative shit that right. we found so many like-minded individuals. Exactly. And, like, exactly. Exactly. and it's cool to just hang out and just like have yeah. a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, right? No, that's yeah. actually that's actually so true, man. Like even like us, like we the way the reason the podcast started was one of our friends like kind of like you guys said, yo, let's just talk about like hot shit like NBA right. music yeah. and stuff. Right. And we're like, fuck, why not, right? He don't come through, and it's like, oh shoot, I don't really watch ball, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Josh does, but like it's like, bro, how are we gonna talk about something that you're not gonna relate to? What do we like? We like entrepreneurship. Let's talk about entrepreneurship. So that's when we started. Yeah, that's right? Because right? yeah, that's, 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 that's what we talked about. Then we figured it out later. And it was funny. Like, I think we, we, went, we made a few episodes and we ran dry. Like, oh, fuck. We said everything. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we start making up shit. Start repeating other people's yeah. stuff. Right? Like, <laughs> I've heard um, shit from like, Gary Vee. Like, yeah, Gary we're just talking about like, like, oh, you know, from other guys. It's like, like, okay, this is not organic. What do we got to do? Get some guests on the show. And boom, it's like one guy, like Omer, Malik, he was his buddy. But everyone else after that was like complete strangers. We just DM'd them. Just like you guys, man. It's yeah. like it's cool after this like we're gonna be like going back and forth and build that connection oh, yeah, 100%. So it's super yeah. sick like i feel like this platform has just gave us that yeah you know? yeah and, and that's what this is not even like our passion like of course it is but it's like we're still learning because we're 19 right exactly. yeah. whether we want to learn from your mistakes or not we'll yeah. just get so much more further in life because oh, we've seen sure. you guys like process and everything exactly. you guys are already starting you know like early on you know we're still receptive to a lot of things right. you're still right. open-minded like you know the thing is like as you will age you will get more set in your ways and yeah. you gotta fight that as much as you can. Oh, right. <laughs> you know, but, yeah. Like I can see, I can speak just from personally. You know, I get set into certain mindsets. Yeah. And I want to do it that way, but yeah. when you're young and you're still growing and you can do all this stuff, then like you, know, you guys have a huge advantage almost. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I was growth. gonna say like we were talking about motivation, um, like just a few days ago. Like, yeah. Motor self help books and stuff like that, but there's really no better motivation than just doing something and yeah. 100%. seeing what happens. Right, yeah, learning you know, on the fly. Right? I honestly, like uh, a lot of people, and this is like not a uncommon point, like I'm not saying anything no one has said before, but uh, just doing it and not reading too many self-help books, I yeah. think it's like, it's over. 
You know, it's it's not over. It's there's a period in your life when you need that kind of thing, yeah. when you need that motivation, and like those are those early years to kind of gather your thoughts and move forward. But it does come to a certain point that you're like, okay, I read all the self help books. They're essentially the same thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're essentially they're the same. The same they're issue. just telling you, you know, stay positive, work hard, learn from your mistakes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It comes a point when you actually have to start doing things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's always going to be a much better teacher. Than you know, just reading those books again. And again. Yeah, I don't know. Are you guys avid readers at all, or right. you I, watch a lot of? Those I watch a lot of like he, videos. He does he, a lot of. I, I I do I do a little more than reading than watching videos. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but he's like very yeah. like he always right. send me videos. And yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, but like, it's that's so true. Like, yeah. It comes down to it's like kind of like steroids, you know. Yeah. You gotta take steroids and you gotta work out, right? If you're just yeah. fucking juicing for no reason, you're not working. Out, you're just gonna get fat. Yeah. Right. So it's like these motivation books are good for a push, but if you're not doing anything, yeah. mm-hmm. you're just entertaining yourself. Are we taking steroids? Sorry? Ever taking service? Ah, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Man. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, it's yeah. like like a booster, basically, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like protein shakes. That would yeah, be better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can only motivate you so much, right? Until exactly. you figure out, like, the, I don't want to yeah. fuck around anymore. And right. I think you guys know that, right? Right, 100%. And it's, you guys are so lucky you're starting early, too, right? You're just yeah. like, Putting your neck out there, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you have a few people that are, you know, hating behind yeah, the scenes course, and stuff like yeah, that. Of course. But, you know, putting your network, neck out there, and now, you know, even if this podcast doesn't work out, not by wood, not saying it's not going to, right. but uh, you have that experience, like, I can, yeah, I'm like, already, already, you know, yeah, we're learning, we're learning, right? Right? And once yeah. you do things like that, you're just conditioning yourself to take more risks and do With greater standards. things, yeah. and, like, your mindset changes, you Definitely. know? Yeah. yeah. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we're watching this really amazing movie. It's probably the best movie of our time. Uh, Black Panther, what do you think about oh, that? Oh, come on, man. You've been watching so many. 98%, right? 98%. You've been watching so many. Wait, what's your... Have you seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Have you guys listened to that podcast? Yeah, it was a lot of bang, bro. Okay, so, you know, you guys are, you guys are forcing me into this. <laughs> I'm not forcing you. I think <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen it. But I think it's a cool movie. Okay. I just yeah. Black Panther, great movie, great effects, great message, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, great acting. But you know, for you to give it this fucking <laughs> mythical rating of ninety eight percent, you know, I'm walking in there. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be fucking sick. This is gonna be yeah. the craziest movie I've ever seen. Ninety eight percent. I've always trusted Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Come on. See, that's the fault. Right? Fair enough. That might be the fault. But I've always trusted what they've said, and I rarely been disappointed when they said a good movie was a good movie. Right. I go in there and I'm watching it and we're like just like, okay, this is happening, you know, yeah, it's yeah. kinda corny, it's a Marvel movie. I, I can accept that. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of it we're just like so many fucking cheesy <laughs> like like all these memes and shit like yeah, yeah, yeah. pop culture like things like that. And right, right. you're just like what the fuck is this? It does not deserve ninety eight percent. No? I said it in the clip, if it was 80, I would be... You I, actually said 70, I think you said 7.5. 75, 75 to 80? 80? Yeah. You know, a strong B. <laughs> a strong B. You know, but it doesn't, like, for you to make Some, some that, people are saying 10 out of 10, man. Yeah, some people are saying man. You know, I understand. you got to support, you know, it's a. It's, it's got a very good message. and you got to support that message. You know, a black empowerment, you know, I, yes. I agree with it. But don't insult the world's intelligence. Yeah. You know, call a good movie what a good movie is, and be impartial. Otherwise, we run the risk of so much censorship. censorship. And that's something I completely disagree with. Say what you want to say, and it should be real, not yeah, it bullshit. It should be real. Say Black Panther, man. That was hilarious. We were just watching that podcast, bro. This yeah. is the second time I'm listening to it. We're like, yeah. bro, this was hilarious. It's going on. I'm yeah, passionate and about these kinds of things. <laughs> it's like, bro, it's like, wait, your director at night is like, yeah. it goes and directs movies. Yeah, you're talking about like Heath Ledger and everything. Yeah, right? like the Dark Knight. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that movie actually got 94. percent The Dark Knight. Right. Yeah. You know, Heath Ledger. <laughs> I'm assuming that's your favorite movie. It's not my favorite movie. I wouldn't say it is. I'd say Wolf of Wall Street's my favorite. Movie. Oh, yeah. oh, that one's a good one. Or Scarface. Yeah. yeah. You know, but um, that's such a good movie, and for you to rate that 94, percent and just because of current political. Environments. Okay, you're you're placing Black Panther at ninety eight. But there's different variables for different movies, man. Different movies come out. Yeah, of but I I understand. But I think you know, black and white. There should be one guy, one fat guy that was in his mom's basement, you know, ponytail, 
eats pizza, just watches movies. <laughs> and he has the integrity. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. He has the integrity that he can't be bought off. That's that's what I want. Wait, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want. Does that Does like only European matter though about it, the movie? It's not, not someone else's. It's it's, it's, it's a universal. This is like it's a universal. Is, we talked about it before, but it's like. If you're gonna say, you know, oh, I already know going into the movie that the liberal media is gonna rate it way above average, and it and it did get rated that, right? And then you walk out the theater like, why the fuck was it rated like that? You know what I mean? It's yeah. just a little bit like, but no, but I feel, ignorant. I know, I, yeah. I feel like, because you know, here's the thing, bro. Like, you ever like get your expectations so high? Like for, for a roller coaster, you wait two hours in a line, yeah. and then when you actually ride the roller coaster, like, was it worth it? Mm. I feel like that's what happened to you. You got so like 98%, it must yeah. be a banger. Well, like you crazy you twists it. and shit, like, <laughs> there's a couple twists, but like, there's nothing about it. Just, take a look at the movie, take yeah. a look at the situation, you know what I mean? Trust your own rating, you know what I mean? You don't need to get like too hyped right. about it. Maybe it's just, I mean. it's not going to win an Oscar. Maybe it's just because I've always kind of placed a big thing. Like obviously I know they're not completely accurate, Yeah. but I've always placed it, placed a certain level of trust in a movie rating. You know what I'm like, you know, it's going to be good or bad. Now you don't trust it no more. Don't trust That's good though. No. That's good. Maybe don't you need a kick in the face finally. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> But the movie's good, like you enjoyed it, but you didn't Oh yeah, no, no, it's a very enjoyable movie, right? Like, yeah. They're not bored at all. I mean, you just, just dissed it, you're like, yeah, if someone asked me to go watch it, I'm gonna tell them to wait until it's on TV. Yeah. <laughs> We're just dying, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. It's true, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, that's, that's all valid, man. It's yeah, yeah. Not, everybody not, has your opinion. That's yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. it's a good movie, visual effects are great. But when, not when I watch it, if I had known it was gonna be like that, no chance. No? If it was just a regular Marvel movie, like I never watch Marvel movies in, in theaters. Yeah. I, I watch Infinity Wars, but you know that, that's just so looks dope, right? right? But all the other Marvel movies, I've never seen them in theaters. But I know it's just bullshit. <laughs> you know, like the same yeah. thing. Like, what kind of movies do you watch in the theater? Because too, per- personally, I think I only watch horror movies in the theaters. Yeah. Uh, and and superhero movies in the theaters. I don't know, like Action movie. movie. Good drama. Yeah. Good drama. Not really, man. Actually, yeah. What was the last one you saw in theaters? What would Wolf of Wall Street be? Like a comedy? It's comedy. Like, yeah. Kind of. Anything like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was, that's a really good one. You still have to see that. I haven't seen that one. You haven't seen Wolf Wall Street? That's a movie that changes your life. Yeah. Dude, you can. <laughs> that's the one that really changes your life. You gotta watch it every month, man. <laughs> Bro, uh, you, you're gonna be surprised. I watched. Um, Pursuit to Happiness for the first time a few okay, days ago okay, too. Yeah. That was a sick movie, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, next is gonna be Wolf of Wall Street. Oh yeah, yeah you gotta do it. No, that's one of those movies that really uh, puts into perspective that, you know, our parents tell us from a young age that, oh, if you party too much, if you're having too much fun, that you won't be successful. Yeah. That's the movie that really instills the fact that you watch that and these guys are having the craziest time. Right. And they're still making money. You're crunching numbers. Numbers. You yeah. know, they're still successful in their business. That really shows yeah. you like, oh fuck, that's a lifestyle. Right, life. you just gotta like, work for it though. You yeah. do it early, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it changes your perspective too when yeah. you're looking at successful people, yeah. you know what you I mean? Know? They all got a little bit of dirt on them and they're yeah. all kind of, they're not like going to bed at like 9 a.m. Yeah. or 9 p.m. and stuff like that. A lot right. of them do. Really yeah. successful ones too, but right. like all the like, you know, CEOs and stuff like that, they have this lifestyle or they yeah. could have that lifestyle. Right. You know, they're still partying, exactly. they're still having a good time, you know, they're getting their work done. Like reward yourself, yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff yeah. You're doing, definitely. Do you guys think you're going to get get there if you, you know? Both you guys are CEOs. But to be, to be honest, I'm not a CEO, but like to a level. But the, the vision is to get at a point like that. Yeah. Right. Where you're just taking quaaludes like crazy. Right? <laughs> 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 He's are not the one who doesn't understand. You gotta watch the, <laughs> the vision. Wait, it was the boy. Were they not good? No, no, it's good. It's, it's, it's like a yeah. drug infused. Yeah, oh. they're doing a lot of drugs. It's like, it's like drugs, hookers, oh, yeah, yeah. 100 miles an hour lifestyle. You know what Damn. I mean? Right. Maybe not the drugs. 100 miles a minute. The hooker's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the drugs. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you definitely watch them. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a little eye opening. <laughs> you know, yeah. I could definitely attribute that movie to really motivating me and inspiring me. Right. You know, <laughs> to take parts of that life stuff. Yeah. Not all of it. Of course. Of course. <laughs> all right. So now we want to kind of dive into your personal lives too. We want to get to know you guys. So what's it go first? As much as like you guys want to get, it doesn't have to be too personal, but. As much as you're comfortable. But what do you mean personal? Like, like, like what you want? did after high school and like... Like, like your story. Like, like your story. Like how you, you know, ended like, up here. Cool. Like how'd you guys meet? It's, like, a, it's a little different, but... Uh, yeah, I'll just tell you like how we met and stuff like yeah, that. Cool. So we uh, met through mutual friends as yeah. well. 
and been I'm surprised friends. Surprised me in my life. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my I life. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> my life was never the same. <laughs> um, met through mutual friends. Um, friendship for I think about like what ten years. Like, wow. Like, something yeah. like that. Now? Ten years? Seven mm-hmm. years? Gotta be like nineteen. I think I met you. Yeah, so yeah. Like seven, year, eight years. We were actually on the same, well, not the same soccer team. Oh, okay. Jason was much better. <laughs> you know, I was on, he was on the goal, like the goal team, and yeah. I was like the silver bronze, you know? <laughs> Passing. Um, yeah. What position, <laughs> what position you play? I was like midfielder. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Soccer wasn't my thing, but. Okay. Yeah, how about you? Uh, midfielder as well. Cool. Stud though, you know, yeah. Phenom. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> you play college soccer? No, no, no. <laughs> He's a phenom. No, man. Come on. Give me a soccer ball. Soccer ball. Holly, what shit you flap in the air? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Scorpion kick, right? We run twos right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so then we met friends for a long time, um, started the pod. And I think that's it about like yeah. our history, yeah. my history. I mean, studied business school for a long time, cool. was interested in doing something creative, and then me and Randy yeah. kind of kicked it off, that's yeah. about it, yeah. Yeah, that mutual interest, you know, as for me, you know, went to high school, was the thing, went to college for a bit. <laughs> Didn't go to high school, right? Can you imagine? <laughs> <Just dropped it>. <laughs> <laughs> no, high school, went to college, you know, I thought I wanted to be a cop, but that's when I didn't really know what I was going to do. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh... You went the other direction. Then I went, no, well, not the other direction. How <laughs> 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 full force. <laughs> but, you know, then I went to college for a bit, did my thing, and, uh, quit after about three years. I was going to transfer to SFU, but at that point I was like, I'd rather just get involved in the business and... I started selling real estate and uh, my family was always involved in building houses. So that's kind of what we took off on and nice. here we are. Nice. So I'm still a college dropper. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick, man. Don't worry, you're that's successful. Sick. You got, got the billion dollar boys, got the Versace. Oh, you should I'm see that's like I'm fucking... You see what's under this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> pull it out. Pull, pull it out. out. Pull it out. Oh, okay. There's going to be like some Supreme. Oh. 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 <laughs> He enjoys the finer things. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that, that's essentially it. Man. What about you guys? Yeah. You tell us about yourselves. So, or have um, you already done that on your own? We did every single pod. Yeah. 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 We tell you off, off the pod. Yeah, we don't want to keep repeating it. <laughs> like we'll that. ask you guys when we get you in the office. There you go. It makes sense. That's your turn, fuckers. That was awesome, dude. People just walking right by. Yeah, I know. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you like much music? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're kind of saying much music. Matt Bale. Yeah, Matt yeah. Bale. Yeah. 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 Bro, one day, bro, it's going to be science, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Outside radio. Outside yeah. radio. Yeah, Vancouver yeah. Hustlers. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. There are titties right there. Yeah, yeah. Are you signing autographs? You're a fucking bitch. Yeah. So when did you guys uh, start? Start the podcast. Uh, April of last year April is when we started releasing. Yeah. We were thinking about it and like rehearsing since I think about November yeah. um, of 2015. Holy shit. Was it November? Yeah. Well, not 15. Well, it was 18. 18, 18 17. My God. <laughs> uh, 2017. Been out in six years. <laughs> no, no. But, <laughs> you know, it did take us a while to get comfortable on the mic. Like, yeah. I remember the earlier episodes, you were just trying to experiment, you know. Uh, you know, having a few beers, you yeah. know, right. being a little stoned, you know, you're finding that right it's now. Up For me, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> Jason's a pretty sober guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a lot of episodes that were kind of just not flowing the way that they should have been flowing. Right. Yeah. Like, we're pretty happy with everything we put out now. And uh, we're just kind of going forward with that. Yeah, I freaking love your guys' Instagram feed, man. Yeah? yeah. That looks so cool. Did you post on the side and then one come down? The picture, that looks so... Whose idea was that? Uh, I think it's both our ideas. Oh, so, yeah, like, we that's both so clean, on man. Us, man. Like that's right cool. now, we were thinking about cleaning up our feed because our feed's just like everything. You know? Yeah, but you guys have the really powerful clips though, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is awesome, right? Like right. that's something we want. Are you guys doing that whole clips? thing where you're uh, posting you know, like four or five times a day? And I know um, Gary V touches on yeah. that a lot. You we know? don't want to go like four or five, but we want to get at least one to two. But to be honest, we wish we could. 
Yeah. Like we have the, con- <coughs> sorry, the clips. <coughs> the yeah. Content. We the have content. the content too. It's just that the editing speed is not there. Right. Yeah. So we're, 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 we're do, we do what we could afford basically right. one or two a day just so yeah. it could stay consistent to one or two a day. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. 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 Our plan was uh, to just mass edit so we could have like three or four a day yeah. just to grow faster, right? But, Does uh, that actually <laughs> work though? If, like, if, if your content's when good. you are posting those kind of things, or are you getting, like, what I've found is you're getting followed by a lot of these, like, accounts that are just on their own hustle. You know, they stay there and then they kind of yeah. disappear. Like, yeah, yeah, that happens. You know? Um, the thing about you guys is you guys have, like, really nice clips, like, video clips. Right. I agree with what you said, Josh. Like, yeah. content is king, right? Like, so. Right. If you guys have video clips and you're posting it three, four times a day, that's gonna hit people because you're gonna be able to watch actually people doing stuff for sure. That's kind of our yeah. problem right now yeah. is getting video going. Kudos right. to you guys. You guys got yeah. going plus the clips. That was yeah. our next step for sure. You know, we're yeah, pretty comfortable on the mic now. Huh? Yeah, we get the video going and yeah. So like after we're done with this, we're just yeah. gonna chop this up and yeah. start just adding it in. Cool. But it's hard yeah. too, right? Because sometimes time. with like different people, like, we don't always get the best clips, right? Yeah. Because like, like, we can't just break any sentence, right? It's like either right. the funny stuff or the powerful stuff, right? That's what yeah. we go through too. With right. our you got to find exactly. the best part and and then make a video. So you right? guys understand. And right? so, yeah. sometimes yeah. like you'll get a powerful message or something, but it's like it's too long. Yeah. Like it was stretched for like one two minute. minutes, and it's like right. you can one minute at max. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. But uh, you know, we have to, like hey, learn. Nice skinny jeans, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Randy stab next after podcast comes out. Randy stab goes back for you. Abby stab. I love it, man. What were struggles when you guys just started? Um, uh, probably like finding our voice. Yeah. Getting uh, comfortable with like the rhythm of conversation. Yeah. yeah. Um, topics, but I don't really see them as struggles. Like. And honestly, I don't think we really noticed anything like no. to be a big struggle for us because we just kept going. Like we release twice, twice a week, right? Yeah. So we're constantly growing our like skills every time yeah. we record. So it wasn't like this thing like Jason, you you you're still saying that, or like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like Randy, you gotta do this. Like, you know? Struggles mostly were like technical ones, yeah. like trying to figure out like how to get the interface to work and all that other but stuff. But it like, all what came through in the end. Yeah, you know? oh yeah, it wasn't, really course, it wasn't like struggles. Like yeah. it was just kind of like little challenges, you know, little hurdles. That happened. Okay, how yeah. do you fix that? Yeah, you guys. Yeah. You know, we've yeah. uh, had to buy a few programs for like the, the soundboard because, <laughs> right. like, we just get programs and like all of a sudden, like, this they just expire <laughs> forever. Oh, like, you know, yeah. they expire and they crash. Yeah, and you know, you have to move on and get something just as good. Fine, no torrent, man. Hmm? No torrent. Torrents are just as shitty, you know. Yeah. They're they're gonna work for a little bit and then they're gonna crash, right? Right. So yeah, I think know, on the MacBook too. It, when it if you use a program that's torrented yeah. and the MacBook updates, yeah. you can't use it anymore. Yeah. No way. I think so. I think that's I didn't know yeah. that man. I don't know either. I'm gonna yeah. update my MacBook, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Never update it. Never update it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand five version. <laughs> do the MacBooks really like do they get like the shittier battery life when you update them as well? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a good question. I, I have no. Uh, this one's still relatively new, right? but they probably the iPhone's but, super yeah, sure. Yeah, Apple is Snake Dog. They want you to buy their new products, yeah. so they kind of like fuck their snakes, man. Snakes, you know? snakes. snakes. Money, best right? products in the world, man. No, I actually wrap Apple to a dime. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Apple too, as you can see, but uh, they are snakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bro, just like the movies, man. You gotta call it the way you call it. Exactly. Right? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, don't you know, thank you. You know when I buy an Apple product, you know they stand behind it. They guarantee it. That you know is what, true. You know what's gonna be acceptable. <laughs> you know, yeah. They're giving me everything I need. You know, smartphones are things. Well, technology for any matter. I don't yeah. know about you guys, but personally for me, I don't know how to use an iPhone to its fullest capacity. Not even close. I'd probably use it at maybe 10, 15 yeah. percent. What are we? What are we watching on? What are we doing on phones? YouTube. Porn. Social media. <laughs> <laughs> social well, media. Is it porn first? <laughs> yeah. uh, social media like Spotify. Spotify and calls, right? Yeah. Like I don't know how to do all this like blood re- like blood rate monitoring shit and you, you know, can do that on an iPhone. Heart rate monitoring. You can do a bunch yeah. of stuff. Yeah. I, I'm just using that as an example, yeah, yeah, but yeah. all these like reminders, you gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. point the ear, you gotta do this. I'm sure I, my life would be more simple if I could bring yeah, myself to do that. that. To be honest, bro, that's what we do. We set up the reminders on the, on the yeah. calendar. Yeah, it makes wow. it easier, man. Yeah. Interesting. It makes it easier. Google Calendar. 
Just calendar. Google yeah. Calendar is even blessed. It's because I love Google Calendar because it syncs with your emails. Yeah. So if someone sends you a date, it's stuck in your calendar automatically, which that's is really cool. cool. It's amazing. But they know everything now. That is true. That you is know, true. there's this thing on your phone. That have, do you know what location services is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you shut that off yet? No, I haven't. Because if, if you have it on, they <laughs> know who the fuck you are, bro. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah I know. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. It actually knows like to the day where you were. Right. Hey man, Facebook knows everything about they you. They do, but fuck, it's not kind of creepy, man. You know it's the creepy, Spotify? Right? I'm sorry, the Snapchat map. Yeah, oh, that's just you, can, weird. you can actually like, like see where people are. Like, 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 like fuck, like you're right here, houses, man. and you're right there, right? It's crazy. That's freaking you know, nuts. So there was this girl I was looking for. She's like, I'm I'm at home. I'm at home. I'm at home. Bitch, where the fuck are you? That's how easy it is nowadays. Yeah, I know it's fucked, man. I know you like stalking people has turned into a yeah. next game. Yeah. Yeah. Before, bro, it's like you go on their Facebook and see a picture. Oh, bro, you're a fucking creep. Yeah. I can see exactly yeah. where they are. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh shit, you found out where she is. Yeah. So on your podcast, right? How do you structure it? Like ours is different. Like ours is like bio. Questions, fuck yeah. around. Mm-hmm. Right, how do you, do you structure or is it kind of So um, we start with like a off topic segment. Okay. And then we'll do like just topics after that. Mm-hmm. And then the topics are not like you strictly have to talk about Takashi 69 Game Jump or anything like that. It's like we put our own perspective in our own life. So it can be off topic at any moment. Yeah. So, and that's we'll how we start with that and then we'll talk about something and it'll turn into, we'll make a little. Like a right turn or left turn yeah. into something else and carry that for a while and then like we'll find ourselves coming back and right then now. for interviews it's kind of exactly like your yeah. style you know what i mean cool. right. except we don't really even have questions really no too many questions prepped right. i mean we, we don't ask even, yeah. the same same questions like to everybody like yeah what's your inspiration yeah <laughs> <What's> your <motivation? laughs> but, you know you can really go far in these topics you know i find that like most of the people been on our show have like taken themselves pretty seriously. Yeah. There's not been like many people that came onto our shows that are kind of just joking around too. Like much. you guys, right? Yeah. yeah. Having a good time. Yeah, right? like super, well, they're all having a good, a good time, time, but like I find that like you know, everyone's been kind of like. You well, know, we brought serious. a few out. Of, we brought. I feel like we brought. We bring people out. No, no, we still have the good times. It's not. Uh, it's not about not having the laughs. I mean, but like, you guys like, kind of like. Yeah. Everyone, not everyone's goofy, you know. But yeah, you guys jump everyone's off topic kind of, just like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Seconds, right? That's funny, bro. It yeah. keeps it engaging, right? Exactly. Um, That's what I do find. You know, great. Everyone we met on the podcast, you know. Like, yeah, no, they're great. We have yeah. a special connection, like. Of course. Even this right here, you won't. Yeah. You, if you find it in your regular life, you won't have like a half hour, 45 minute conversation with anyone anymore. Yeah, right. yeah. You know, it's little segments, you're just talking this yeah. and that, you know, unless right. you're hanging out with your boys. Right. You know, th- these are things that you share that you don't share with most of the world. Right. That's, such yeah. that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, take it in, bro. It's like we're in a room, complete strangers spending yeah. an hour together. Yeah. That's yeah. nuts, bro. That's yeah. the next level. Right. We don't you even know? know you guys, right? Yeah. 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 It's ridiculous. Who are you guys? As soon as the camera comes <laughs> off, you beat the shit out of me. <laughs> 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 Talk to Jay. Talk to Jay. I'm sorry, you guys got off so quickly. It's hilarious, right? It right? uh, works. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. And I think that's important. We should start do, like implementing a little bit in our thing, right? Because you don't want to keep yourself serious. No, I'm jumping at people. No, 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 no. You guys keep showing up. No, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to make a phone call. Snatch your cheek. We're in a hostage situation right now. Look, they don't have corner, dude. You guys are fucked. No, no, bro, this is not a It's a choice here, man. Right? But yeah. No, for sure. What is your guys' like reason behind this, though? Like, you guys just having a good time and it's different? But, like, was there like something you guys wanted to achieve when you guys started? Um, or was it just for fucking just sticking around? I don't feel like it's dick. It's not, I'm not digging around, but just having a good time. Like, it's like yeah. an outlet for you guys. Yeah, right? outlet, like, you guys outlet and like you know we had ambitions too. So yeah. do you guys see yourself doing stuff with this? Like in we, the future? well, like no joke, we really yeah. think we can we can run this. You know this, sure. this hip hop podcast thing. Like yeah, yeah, we yeah. really think we can rise to a certain level. Like and we have that belief in ourselves. Like for sure that we can we can create it into something that you can monetize and make a good income from. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You know, and while we're having a great time. Definitely. You know, there's not a single pod that I come into that, like, I'm kind of dreading going into. Yeah, like, I enjoy exactly. this process, you know what I mean? That you get to sit down to shoot the shit yeah, and yeah. talk and you can you can express your ideas exactly. and whatever's happening in your current life. The process is right. the most enjoyable process, part. Yeah, right. and, you so. know, these, these are 
they're basically like journal documentations of like where you were six months ago to where you are now and the kind of mindset can change. Yeah. You know, new ideas are coming in all the time. Right. Sure. And that's, uh, <coughs> that's, 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 that's that's a very beautiful yeah. thing. Right. <laughs> 30 years later. 30 years later, 10 years later or yeah. something. Right? 30, 30 years later. Randy yeah. listens to the <laughs> Black Panther <laughs> podcast. Yeah. It's like, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's 96. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Right. Have you guys went back and looked at your first podcast just cause for your shits and giggles or? Uh, I see how far you came or whatever. Yeah, I have. Um, yeah. But we've gone like 77 straight fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fire hasn't stopped. The fire hasn't stopped. But uh, yeah, I've, I've taken, taken a look at the older podcast for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, growth is there. and But it's like, you like I feel like we we knew that we could we could do something from yeah. the very beginning. Like it wasn't like we were limping in. You yeah. Know what right. I mean? So. And at this point, is monetization stepped in or no? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. And uh, quick question: What do you, what do you, like your surroundings? Like your friends or your parents or just like spouse? What do they think about it? Like girlfriends and stuff? Do they think like very negative of it? Or it's kind of cool or even like your guys' ambitions? Lots of support. Lots of support. Lots of support. Lots of support. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's lots good. of support. No one's no one's really like shitting on it too hard. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Even at the beginning too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I haven't heard anything on my end. Like, that's awesome. From people who, who that's awesome. I've shown it, but yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's been pretty supportive. Like everyone, like you know, my parents, because we recorded my house. Yeah. My dad actually walked into an episode. And, like, hey, <laughs> and like he still doesn't know what the hell we're doing. He's like, oh, listen to one here and there. His, and, his dad like lectured me. Well, not lectured me, but like pressed me while I was walking into the house. Really? By the garbage can. Like, what you guys doing? What are you guys <laughs> recording in there? <laughs> I was like, uncle, okay, okay, yeah. bye, uncle. And my dad's just like a straight uncle, you know, huge fog, like yeah. fucking <laughs> turban, <laughs> huge beard, like, you know. So he doesn't understand these kind of things, yeah. but you know, it's still the starting shit. Oh, that girl's shoes are crazy. Yeah. That's what you see. Yeah, like some crazy rhinestones and stuff. Like that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it reminds me of my dad too, right? That's how he is. Yeah. So he's always because like he'll call me when I'm doing podcasts. So I'll come after like, oh, I was just busy as recording. Like, what are you recording? It's like a oh, podcast. What's a podcast? It's like oh, it's like uh, we talk to these people. Which yeah. people? It's just like yeah, yeah. Duh, it's just, you're paying 21 questions. Yeah. Dad, right? <laughs> right? And like you get to not that end, it's like oh, okay. So wait, what are you doing again? Like, oh. <laughs> 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 It'll be interesting if I if my dad will ever listen. To get your dad on my bro. Get your dad on. I'm just wasting your fucking time. Do <laughs> 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 something proper. The cow is telling me. That's good. That's good. That's good. So that tattoo in your arm, what is Which it? Which one? Oh, this one. Oh, it's, you know, one of our groups. It's our first group. Yeah. Get the zoom in, you know? Oh, no, you guys have any tats or no? No, I got nothing. No? no. Yeah, I got this one tat. It's actually a dinosaur. Oh. It's, it's done in brown ink. No, it's so, addicting, man. When you guys will start, and if you do start, it's very addicting. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. Do you start young, though? Or? Start your whole sleep? I don't sleep, yeah. Do you start oh, young? Shoot. I started, like, I have my first one at 16. So a little line there. Uh-huh. It just goes on. And, and what on. do you have like meanings for each one? Oh, uh, they're all kind of meaningful. Like this ghost means nothing. <laughs> you know, Snapchat, they're right? all kind of you know they they have some sort of meaning too. Cool. That's pretty yeah. dope. That looks clean though, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, no. You don't have to take care of them. Not overly. No. No, no. It's not, if you get like work done well, you spend a little bit extra money at the start mm, yeah. and find a good artist who can do something proper. Right. Yeah, it's definitely better. Like I started out just going to the hood guy. Yeah. And those tattoos compared cheap. to these ones, the later ones I got are, are, are shitty, right? right? Yeah. You know, they fade out, they do this, they do that, and like I'm just looking to probably get those covered up. But, you know, if you do the research, and these days with the Instagram, there's so yeah. many fucking yeah. good yeah. artists. So many artists. So, I still go for a tattoo on the face. Yeah. No, like Mike Tyson. No. Sure. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Probably really painful. Yeah. I mean, painful, man. It's just weird. But we, it's weird. These yeah. days is acceptable, though. You know, yeah, you can be a perfectly normal weird. normal guy walking every day street. No, you can't. Oh, you're like on your head. Yeah, I've like, seen guys on their head. But the thing yeah, is, like, you can, you can do it if you're going to stay in, like, the 
media like pop culture scene. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. don't think you're going to professional. No, yeah, exactly. but it will crack in there eventually. No, 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 no. I think, I think, maybe not the face tap, man. Maybe not the face tap, but like maybe a neck tap or something. I don't think so, bro. Because that's acceptable though, because you can't see that. So from like a desk job or something, you can't, right? It will. Times are changing. You know, like it's a completely different world. You can't say it'll never happen. It might take another generation. It might take another thousand years. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Another generation on top of that. But no, we gotta realize this, right? Like uh, one of my buddies was saying, like, uh, yeah, two of our friends were actually saying that, Mm -hmm. like. No, we were saying how school could be a good outlet for you, like a good k- Kickstarter. Yeah. And they're like, nah, man. Like Gary Vee hired this one guy who had no school, but he had adult media. Yeah. It's like uh, for every one Gary Vee, yeah, it's like yeah, a fucking a thousand, million. like the thousand old school entrepreneurs, yeah. right? Exactly. So if you get lucky, yeah, sure, you might make it. Yeah. But for the old school one, you gotta have like no tattoos. You gotta dress the part. Exactly. You gotta have the degree at fucking Harvard. Right? You gotta be yeah. one of those special guys. You yeah. better have a perspective on something that nobody has. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. That's how you become the college dropout or the, yeah, the high school right. dropout with all this fucking billion dollar success. Right. Exactly. And you better have that kind of idea. Yeah. For yeah. most people, you stand you know, out. Exactly. You know, yeah. Yeah, for most people, like you know, you kind of just chip away, you do your grind, and it's it, it kind of gradually increases. But yeah, but but like face tattoos, I don't see ever coming to the professional world. Yeah. Not even, not tasteful. even neck tattoos. No. Well, what's a tasteful face or neck tattoo? You know, like, you know, something that's cute, you know? Like little, mom? Little star. <laughs> mom. <laughs> little star. Uh, yeah. I don't... I don't know, like, I, I see people downtown Vancouver often, you know, we're, we live in a pretty hipster metropolitan area, you yeah. know? See plenty of people with face tats, you know, just little ones. Really? I think so. Like rocking a suit, too? Not rocking a suit, no. 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 Just like it's normal, though. Yeah. Yeah. Just get the barber shop or something. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Or like a. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, you know, like they work at a cafe thing, right? or something, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. They might be entrepreneurs, but I don't mean like. I'm talking, when I'm talking about professional, I'm talking about like the accountants, the lawyers, yeah. the doctor. Like, would you go to a doctor who had a face tattoo? Well, again, we're still living in this like super. Like our parents are kind of conservative, you know what I mean? Mm. So we're living in that era. Right. Now, Once that's when, gone. when we have grandkids, are we really thinking about that, considering that all the grandparents, like, I, I think it's like 40% of people in America are tattooed now. Wow. Like that many people have tattoos. That's crazy. You know, are the, are the grandkids of those grandparents really going to, you the know, time. are they going to care about that kind of shit? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, I think it, it, you're... There'll right. always be a slight It's going to eventually thing. happen, but it's like, that's like saying everything's going to eventually happen. Again, yeah. everything has to be tasteful. Like, yeah. You know, if it's like fucking like, you know, if it's like that, that's and that's on the fucking ear, no, that's not, that's not good looking, but, you know, a pinky side, you know, fucking right in there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Edgy, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. She's got the hoop nose here. I uh, the hoop nose ring. Oh, <laughs> the bull ring. Not the, the septum. Yeah, just the studs. Yeah, yeah. the studs. The studs. Oh, so what do you like? Like you like those like hardcore white girls? I don't like eh? them. You know what? Like just everyone. Attractive, you know? Like everyone. <laughs> you just like anyone tasteful, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's like tasteful. different. Has your own style. No, yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta. You can't like. You can't ever attach yourself to one thing. You gotta open yourself to an yeah. array. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can never be attached. You can't be attached. No, definitely not. Attached. All right, so we're coming close to the end of it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, one thing we do is we get you guys to call somebody out, like one of your friends or somebody you think. Like who's gonna come on the show next? Yeah, and so you call them out and they respond with like a video, um, saying I accept the challenge or I don't. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you a couple seconds to figure it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> While you're thinking, we also have two segments. So that's the the, the, the that's last. The last one is a call out, but the one before this is we call it the sixty second hustle. Mm-hmm. Right, where you get 60 seconds to say something gets something off your chest, or you want the listeners to know, um, I guess 60 seconds to do it. It can be shorter, it can be since shorter. Since you have two people, it has to be like 45 60 seconds. Okay. And since you have two people, you can either go together or one each. Okay, okay, yeah. just like something you want to get off your chest, or you yeah, know, if there's like two younger version of you guys, and if they're struggling, or, or some anything, right? Anything you feel passionate about that you can share with, with people that are watching. Cool. I can go a long way. Just, right. I, I mean, fucking anything. I know you guys are just goofy and it's hard, right? You think it's something like that, but uh, okay. Can we promote the pod? Can we promote the pod? Yeah. Can we promote the pod? I don't. I don't think that's. It's not, it's not necessarily for work. us. More for like somebody else that's watching that yeah. can give them like impact or something. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck. I guess you know. Main thing is just do your thing. You know, do it your way. You know, that's how we've been doing it. Don't don't filter the truth. Yeah. You know, always fucking say it in the way that 
You want to add your spin. You got to understand that there's other perspectives. You got to keep doing. You want to produce dope content. You know, go do it. You know, I've I've gone through many regrets. <laughs> you know, the, I'm not getting started earlier, and simply that is on anything creative. And I always knew it. I wanted to do something creative, and um, that's that's essentially it. You know, just just get started now, because mm -hmm. in another year, you know that that hunger doesn't disappear. Yeah. And you're right. still hungry, <laughs> and right. you just haven't done anything, and you lost a year. And you know, as you're aging, you have more responsibilities and stuff. So that amount of free time that you used to have is getting smaller and smaller. So you better be kind of correct. Boom! Bam! That was fire, bro. <laughs> that was, that was sick, awesome. bro. All right. I would say, like the world is full of like craziness and variables yeah. that affect you. You know, at a million times over. So there's always something changing. Yeah. Uh, what you should do is figure out a routine for yourself that you can always come back to. And that really solidifies kind of your process and your life, that's it. Just like stick to your word, right? Exactly. That's Dope. double. Don't fire. Dope. Dope. And straight for the end of the segment, guys, who are you guys calling now? Fuck, I don't know, who should we call it? But uh, yeah, I guess Nick? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll shout out, you guys know Nick King? Nicholas Kane, you know, creative extraordinaire. <laughs> um, he's with Crown and Maine, he's with uh, many other things. Um, yeah. He's been a true gem to know. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, underscore NS Kane. <laughs> uh, coming on to the Vancouver Hustlers podcast next. And that will be a good one. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Right. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Every single evening you thought you'd never see me again Let's compete to see me Some kind of vision Like sometimes I'll just say something Like what I, what I really do like I don't want to do it Yeah, here we come Some kind of Here we come I don't want to do it